Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Daily Leader, where we discuss everything planning, family, and budgeting. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and take this time to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today is, um, well, I should know this. Today is Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. So happy new year to everyone. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the cloth and paper December subscription box. And it's a finance box, so I wanted to get everything recorded and into my planner. Let's dive in. Okay, guys, so like I said, um, Happy New Year. It is Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. And I'm going to be unboxing the cloth and paper December subscription box so I could get it into my finance planner, which I have the guts of right here. Um, I didn't even punch my inserts yet. I just printed and cut them down. So back to why we're here. We're here to see the cloth and paper uh, subscription box detail. Um, as always, the packaging is beautiful and you do get this why hello there card. It just says your order has arrived and it has her blog information. So that's there. And then we're going to get into it. Um, fittingly, this box is a finance box. And that's great because everyone should be working on their finance at the beginning of the year. Um, if we do get a planner, so let's get that out of the way first. This is a vegan letter A5 planner. The rings are very tiny, um, so I'm not quite sure. I know it could fit all these inserts, but I have a lot more than those inserts that I need to put in my finance planner, which I'm taking out of my GM agenda because it's too much. So I'm going to be putting in one of these clear planners from Amazon, which I'll link below, but this might be too small for me, but we'll see. Um, it's beautiful though. It's so soft to the touch. So soft. Um, it's vegan leather. It has a string closure and it has these the things right here that holds the string it's black inside um, almost like a suede material very soft and it has silver rings which is weird because then it has like this goldish um, closure here but nonetheless it is beautiful so we'll see how that works out Next, we get some die cuts and some cards. And the first one we have is says commit. And I guess we need, and it has the definition on the back. It's a verb to obligate or pledge oneself to carry into action deliberately. And that is so true. And this could be my word of the year because I really need to commit to something. Uh, next, we have this die cut that's just a dollar bill with a line going through it. So I guess you could use this for no spend. So that's beautiful. Next, we have persevere. And we also have the definition on the back. To continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulty, with little or no pro prospect of success. So you have to persevere. That is another word that we can use for word of the year. And then we also have our emergency fund challenge. And on the back, it tells you color. It tells you to give a starting balance and to color in 
each block as you save the amount and transfer into your emergency fund bank account. Once you've completed the page, you will have the grand total of $1,000. So you could start at any point. You could already have $600 and you'll just color in all the blocks till you're up to $600 and continue on until you get to a thousand. I already have my emergency fund, but this is still really cute. Okay, and then we have another circle die cut and on the back it says start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And this is from Archer Ash Ashy. So that is really cute. A lot of good these are <clears throat> the smallest most uh, powerful things I've seen in a while because at least they speak to me and my current situation. Next we get some finance stickers and let's see what we have in here. Okay, so we do get five sheets and they're all the same. Uh, so these are the finance sticker and they just say auto pay, withdrawal, deposit, bill due, no spend, and a bunch of dollar signs. So that's good. These you could use to mark paydays. These you could use to mark bills. You do get enough. Like I said, there's five sheets. So there's enough dollar bills for you to mark everything basically. And I'm sure, and if you have other stickers, you could incorporate those in as well so that is handy and that's going to go right over here into my finance pile these are definitely going into this planner next we have a dashboard and i'm not going to try to it says paper box it's all about money though all the different words we use to describe cash paper, box, coins, moolah, bread. So this is beautiful. And this is definitely going to be finance planner. And it's a nice, thick, soft um, cardstock. It's definitely paper, but it's nice and thick and it's stark white and beautiful black print. So that's definitely going over there. The next thing we have is another dashboard. And this is also cardstock. Mine's a little bit bent right here, don't know why. But nonetheless, it just has dollar signs in black and white. And this is a beautiful brown color. I am digging this color. I wish, I wish I saw this before I made this um, dashboard. Because I made this dashboard about the seven baby steps and I would have loved for the colors to kind of match. Side note, sorry, <laughs> getting off track. Um, but this is a nice thick cardstock with a nice beautiful color. So that's gonna go over there. And then next, last dashboard we have is a vellum dashboard. And like I said, her vellums are nice and thick. I don't know if you could hear that, but they're nice and thick. And it says, it is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. And so, and the person who said that, I can't pronounce that name, I'm not going to try. But you can see right there. And so this is beautiful, and that will probably be at the front of my planner. And then next we have the budget and finance insert pack and as you can see it's a chunky pack so let's get into it of course i subscribe to the a5 version so this just says finance bundle six hole drill and that's what we have here so we're gonna go over what we have this first sheet just tells us how to use how to use the planner options to consider and tips so this is very useful if you're a first-time budgeter I'm gonna go through this and just pick out what I want 
um, to be in my planner. I already have a lot of stuff that I, a lot of process that I've used previously that works for me that I will continue, um, but I'm always open to include new things. So the first page, first two pages are notes, blank notes pages. Then we get into monthly budget. And so we get, I want to say there's enough here. This is probably enough for a year. So the first thing is going to be the monthly budget. And it just has your total budget, actual and a difference. And in description, I guess you could say, you know, um, income, bills, sinking funds, and whatever else that you need. If this um, section is not enough for your bills, then you could do two section of bills and so on and so forth. But this is actually nice. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if that makes the planner. Uh, next, we have an expense log. You do get a decent amount of these expense log. Um, so, and it just has the month and the year, and then a lot of columns. I would literally only need one page per month because I don't have a lot of expenses. I mean, I have a lot of bills, but not a lot of expenses. Now we have um, reoccurring payments. And so let's see what that stacks look like. There's a lot of those. Okay. okay. So you do get a decent stack of these as well. And these basically say reoccurring payment month year. And then you list your income, the sources, the amount of date, and all your bills, subscriptions. And then this you could do, this is where you track your non-essential daily spending. So it's 31 days. So you'll do a total, I guess, if you went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby on January 1st. You could, I guess you could say craft and supplies and need total. And this will be your non-essential daily tracking. And if you had a budget for that, like if you allow your, allot yourself money for non-essential spending, then you'll have your budget, your actual, and your difference. So that is really good for someone who's starting out. And then next, we have some gratitude pages. And Guys, if you are not on the gratitude bandwagon, I urge you to get on it. It will change your life. Um, gratitude is so important in every aspect of our life, and we just don't, a lot of people just don't realize it. But I'm not here to preach. So, you do have a gratitude line by day and the month, and then you have two lot. you have multiple lines. And then on the back, you have the month and you reflect monthly, your top priorities, the word of the month, your monthly budget, your starting debt, and total apply to debt, what you paid off, total non -sp no spend days, and end in debt. And then you do have some boxes here that you could fill in with gratitude or whatever you may want to do. Maybe an inspirational quote. It's really up to you um, so there we go with those and then next we have the savings challenge and then she gives one she does one sheet this is just one sheet and the year and it tells week one and this one is a specific amount so she already has the amount listed and the total for the year, this is for $10,000. So if you wanna, if your goal is to spend $10,000 this year, you'd wanna follow this, um, this challenge, this particular one that's already pre-filled with the amounts you need to save each week. 
if you're like me and you're currently on baby step number two, the Dame Ramsey method, where you're paying off debt, then you might want to use this if you're going to save or you might want to save this for when you start saving and you'll fill in your own amount and your mid-year total and the end of your total. So she does give a blank option for you to decide how much you want to save for the year. Next is the saving tracker. And this one, it's only one sheet of this. And it has, you put a year there, your goals, and then January, it has all the months listed out and week each week, and a total and a balance. So starting balance, end in balance, and then your yearly reflect. So it's basically the same as the previous page, the starting debt, apply to debt, pay off, total spend, total no spend days. And so this is just good to keep you accounted, accountability to yourself. Next, we have a notes page that separates us from the next section, which is resources plus tool. And we get about two pages of this. And it just has the name. You guys see list your account information here. Um, if your planner doesn't leave your house, then that might be an option. When I had my planner section, my GM, obviously I wouldn't fill this information out. You list your account name, your account number, the type of account, your username, your password, and any secured information that you might have set up in case you forget your password or sometimes they reset your password and just ask you some security information so that might be useful there then we have another notes page or two notes pages well one and on the back of this is your portfolio now like I said I am on baby step number two so I am paying off debt so I am not really saving um, I know in the Dave Ramsey method, you're not supposed to um, contribute to 401k. You forego that while you pay your debt off and then you kill it afterwards, <laughs> uh, basically. But because my employer matches uh, my 401k, I do still have, I do still contribute to my 401k just up to what they match. So I can still fill that in with that information. I'm not an act, active um, trader. I don't buy stocks. I don't do anything crazy. I just contribute to a 401k. So I can fill that in and on every month, just basically check on it, see if it's growing or if the mark, you know, what I'm investing in is not doing well. So you'll have to decide how you want to use this. Then we have a watch list. Um, I'm not sure if this this might be for stocks, stocks you might be interested in buying. I'm not sure I'm gonna have to read up on the front page how to use it. And then another portfolio allocation. Oh, so these are all portfolio allocations. So these I don't think I'll be using yet because like I said, um, I only contribute to a 401k at my job because they match. And then we have some two notes pages. And that's it. I have to say this is a very useful, helpful um, planner set, budget and finance set. If you are interested in getting your budget and finance in order, this is definitely a set to get. If you don't subscribe to the cloth and paper subscription box, you might want to do that. I know she'll probably bring these to the shop she normally does so you would keep if you didn't get this subscription box you might want to reach out to her the cloth and paper team or um, just keep an eye out for when she brings it to the shop and I definitely say you would want to get this if you're interested in getting your budget and finance in order this is definitely a good guide um, if you've been budgeting for a while and you have your set ways like I do, then you could just go through and pick out what you need. So that's it for today. Happy New Year again. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys found some useful tips. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, 
please feel free to hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so uh, my next video while i'm here is going to be me setting up this planner with all these goodies so if you're interested definitely stick around definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you will get an alert when i post the next one as always thanks for watching happy new year